Hey guys, just give you a, a few moments to tune in and join me this evening with uh, an evening with Wilson. And tonight we're going to be answering the wonderful question of should you train when you're tired? Whoa, hello. <clears throat> should you train when you are tired? As you join us in this evening with an evening of Wilson, uh, just throw up a thumbs up or uh, just say hello. Let me know that you're here right now and I'll give you a little shout out. It's wonderful you, you can. Take a moment to um, come and find out whether whether you should train or work out in the evenings or in the day when you're tired. Maybe it's the morning for you. Good evening, Craig. If anybody wants to go box, go check out uh, Craig Tipton over in uh, Brown Hills. Brown Hills Fitness, Fitness Club. Fitness Club. Slugfest. Go check out Fitness Slugfest. Go Google it. And anybody want to box, go and uh, head over to Craig. Um, which I do want to, uh, I, want, I need to get down there myself, mate. Uh, Leah's with us, Kay's with us, Barry has already uh, has said yes. So what I'm going to be answering tonight, guys, is should you train when you are tired? You're probably thinking that I'm going to say yes and like be the hard-faced trainer type person and just say, yeah, get on with it, you pussy. Um, typical, right? But um, there's a little bit more to it. <clears throat> so... I'm going to go through a few situations. Barry says, I work out if I'm dying. And, uh, well, dude, you got, you, you, you know, you just got to be surrounded by fast. You, got, you know, you got so much inspiration going up on there. Where else would you want to be? It's like your third place. There's home, there's work, and there's fast. Um, so, hey, we've got Vanessa with us. Kate is with us. Carolina. I hope you've uh, got a hit of work at. You okay? I'm sorry. So I was just doing my dinner. Um... Um, I cook last night, so it's her turn tonight. So, hey, as you join us, throw up a thumb, let me know you're here, say hello. And uh, it's good to see you too, Barry. And, uh, and let's dive in. So, uh, thanks for tuning in tonight, guys. We're going to answer the question, should you train if you are tired? And the short and the sweet is, um, is if you've got an office job, right? Or you've got like a sedentary job, maybe you drive a lot. The answer is, my friends, yes. You see, your body's designed to move, and if you're sat down all day, like I am right now, but if you sat down all day, your body's gonna feel tight, it's gonna feel exhausted because you haven't moved. So you're gonna have a ton of energy you need to burn off, right? But naturally, your body will slow down and feel tired because you haven't done anything all day. Well, not say, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say you haven't done anything all day. But you've not done anything physical all day. You've been sat down, right? So should you go and exercise if you are tired? Well, if you have an office job or you sit down throughout the day, you've been sat down throughout the day, absolutely, man. You should go work out. In fact, you need to. If you've not burnt off all that energy, right, and you've built up all that nervous energy throughout your body, you need to go, you need to go burn it off. So the short and the sweet is, if you have a very, a, a very, a very, a very sedentary life and you don't move an awful lot throughout the day and you're feeling tired, well, you're tired because you haven't been moving and naturally your body will want to feel fatigued and tired because you haven't been moving. <clears throat> and another thing is you need to go and move. You need to go and loosen off that body before it gets too tight. If, however, you have had... If you're going through a very stressful period of your life right now, as we all do, or you're physically drained from work or your day, should you go train because you are tired, because physically you're tired, then I would, no, I would go, instead of working out, I would work in. I'd go and head out for a nice relaxing walk. This doesn't mean, you know, it doesn't mean to say you shouldn't be active, absolutely you should be. Um, but you should go work within instead of working out. You should go and do some meditation. You should go do some deep breathing. You should go do something that's mindful and um, that is recovering. Recovering. Uh, for you guys that work out a lot, for every intense, brutal workout that you do, do three um, recovery activities. Okay, so five to ten minutes of recovery activities such as walking, deep breathing, meditating, stretching, foam rolling, massage, something like this. Self-love. Um, so one to three, okay, ratio one to three. Um, you guys that work out, work out a lot. For me, today, hit the weights hard this morning, went for a run this afternoon, 
physically active coaching people through today. So I've taken, um, you know, time to go for a walk. Um, I've had time to go in the park. We've been, you know, got a May time, um, you know, and, and got went, went to the park when Daisy finished school today. And um, I did some deep belly breathing. So you guys work out hard. I like to go for a one to three ratio. Every one intense work that you do, do three things that are stress reducing. Deep breathing is a very good one. Okay, all you gotta do is take one deep breath a day, and it's likely if you commit to doing that one deep breath, you're likely to do more. Okay, don't make the uh, don't make it bigger than it needs to be. The, the habit needs bigger than it needs to be. So. Um, Let's have a little check in for you guys. Vanessa just said, I feel better train first thing in the morning, first thing rather than at night. Um, is there a better time to train? Good question, Vanessa. So you're always going to perform better. Um, well, you know, you're going to have higher testosterone levels, guys, certainly. Uh, for around about, they peak up around about 3 to 4 p.m. So naturally, you're going to be stronger later on in the day. Um, but, however, it really is what fits in your lifestyle. If you are somebody that is super, super busy, like Vanessa is, and you run businesses, and you're out on the go a lot, getting it done, first thing, before your willpower has been consumed, because everybody thinks you've got, like, finite sources, infinite sources of willpower. You haven't, it's finite. Um, and once it's gone, it's gone. So if you don't work, if you're somebody that's like Vanessa and works very, very hard and has a very, very busy lifestyle, if you put off for later in the day your workouts, it will likely not get done because your willpower will be all used up on all these other decisions that you have to do throughout the day. So you're better off, especially when you're still half asleep. Um, just getting up and getting it done, waking up an hour earlier and just getting that workout done. Vanessa, you're doing the right thing. Whoa, hello. Um, so, but if you're somebody that's, you know, a little bit less stressed out, got a little bit more flexibility on your time, then working out later on in the day uh, it would be even better because you're going to be naturally strong. Around about three, four o'clock is a, is a good time to train because you're naturally going to be stronger. Um, but as long as you're moving every single day and, and it's enjoyable, and it's fun. Uh, that, and you're getting it done, do what you have got to do. Harps just joined us. Ah, thanks, Paul, for hard work. Oh, you were, uh, you honestly, all you mums and all you guys that, that's why I'm so passionate about training you guys. It's like, you know, the, the, if anybody, anybody has excuses not to go work out, it's you guys. You're fucking doing it. So you, it's totally, you're absolutely inspirational to me. Uh, Lorraine Eggleton, long time no see. Yes. Loriana, the last time I saw you was when we was on uh, <laughs> was when we was on embarrassing bodies. Again, read into that what you will. But it involved no actually it did involve rashes, but not with me, that was with Ash. Ashley Caldwell. Um Scrot Roth. Lizzie's with us. Good evening, Lizzie. Uh, Mitch Gub Gubsil is with us. Good mo good morning, good evening, my man. Uh, Carolina, work it, working in her. Working in her. Uh, I think I heard that once before. You did. Carolina, you need to do more of it. Uh, Matt Davies is with us. You want your gardening doing, guys? Uh, hit Matt up. Charlie's with us. If you want to have a good time, hit Charlie up. If you, Jim Pearson's with us. If you want a man to show you how to eat eggs, <laughs> hit Jim Pearson up. Lisa's with us. And uh, Kate's with us. Richard Beckett's with us. I've got to drop you a message, my man. I will we'll catch up. Lewis is with us uh, from Land's End. And Barry. Wonderful. Okay, I hope that provides some information for you guys. Oh, and Liz has just said, uh, I never lift well in the morning. 38 weeks pregnant and still training. No excuse, good girl. Uh, Loriana said, always prefer working out in the morning. It's done and out of the way. Absolutely. If you have a busy, busy lifestyle and you need to fit it in, just get it done. Wake up an extra hour before, extra half hour before. Do what you can, right? Um, and get a workout in. Equally, let's talk about non-exercise activities, such as parking the furthest away from the, the uh, 
the, uh, the, the, the supermarket or taking the stairs instead of the elevator or standing up at your desk, right? Getting activity throughout your day that doesn't actually involve a workout would be a smart idea. Um, but the moral is today. <laughs> Hello. Two minutes and I've got to go for dinner. Um, the moral of the story is today, guys, that if you are, I work with a lot of people that <clears throat> work at an office. Uh, if you are sat down a lot throughout the day, then you are likely tired because of your inactivity. So if you are tired and you work at a desk, at a desk in an office, drive on the road a lot, then absolutely, if you're tired, go work out, because the very reason why you're tired is because you've been inactive, and your body is designed to move. Hope that helps, guys. Got to check out now, but uh, thank you for listening. Katie just said hello. Scott Judge is with us. Um, hello, sir. We need to sort out some beats. Lauren is with us. Good evening, Lauren. And Mitch has just joined us as well. I hope it's going all well, brother. Okay, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll catch you next time. Hope that answers that. Uh, if you're just tuning in now, you play it back in a second. I'll post it up onto the wall. And um, I'll see you next time.